Hello. We're going to be looking at a smallish, small but perfectly formed feature which has been added to the Adobe CS3 suite. The feature involves much, much tighter integration between Photoshop CS3 and Dreamweaver CS3. Now what I have here is a layout that I've created in Photoshop. It's a layered layout. And I want to go and divide this up into various sections so I can go and take it into Dreamweaver. I'm going to do that by using the slice tool over here, this is the slice tool, and I'm going to use the slice tool to go and separate this banner area from the rest of the page. I'm just going to bring myself down a, a guide just by clicking and dragging in the rulers there. I'm going to put a guide which is going to cross there, and I'm going to use the guide to help me go and draw my slice, like so. So there's my slice defined, and when I let go of the mouse, there's a brown rectangle surrounding the area that I've designated. Now, if I want to go and take this into Dreamweaver, with the slice still selected, if I go to the edit menu and choose copy, the effect of that will be to copy all the layers within the sliced area. And if I go and use my application switcher to go over to Dreamweaver, here I've got a page prepared, ready to go and accept the graphics that I'm going to be creating here. And here's some text uh, which is acting as a placeholder for my exported graphic. Now if I go to the edit menu and choose paste, this brings up the image preview dialog box, very, very similar to the save for web dialog box in the rest of the Adobe suite. And this gives me an interface where I can see the effects of my compression on my graphic. I can even go and split the window up into two, even four sections, so I can go and compare the effects of one kind of compression against another. And here we can see what my logo looks like as a JPEG set to 80%. And then we can see that's at 6.81k. I could try and take the quality settings down on the JPEG, although I'm pretty certain it's not going to stand up to it. As you can see, that's made that much blotchier. So I can see that I'm going to need a JPEG of around 80% or thereabouts. That gets my 6.21k. Now, I feel certain that I could probably get more out of this if I save the graphic as a GIF. So I'm going to click into the bottommost panel here, and I'm going to go and change the setting here on the format to be in a GIF. And we can see in this pane beneath here, we can see that this is showing us this is a GIF and it's coming at 4.5k compared with the JPEG up here, which is coming in at 6.2. This seems far more desirable setting. So I click on this panel, click OK, and Dreamweaver brings up a Save As dialog box asking me to give this particular graphic a name. And as you can see, it's taken the name of the um, whole file there as a suggestion. I don't want to call it that. So I'm going to rename this as Banner. I'm going to save that into my site folder. I'm prompted to give some alternative text, like so. And then if I OK that, that gets placed into my Dreamweaver document, which is all very good. I'm just going to do a quick save. Now, the really excellent part of this comes when you notice that if you click on the graphic and then take your attention down to the properties, so the properties are showing us the, the name of the banner there for sure, but it also knows the source file, where it came from, that it came from my file called layout.psd. And if I go and click on this edit button over here, you can see we've got a little Photoshop icon there. And what that will do is it will go and open the original layout.psd document. I'm just going to make a little change to that, so I'm going to change that to 2.1, like so. I'll save the document. Copy the slice again. Return to Dreamweaver and paste. And you see that's just automatically updated that. No need to go back to that optimization dialog. No further palaver. Marvellous.